Good evening, Night City. My first guest tonight is the president of the Church of El Yahoo, the Last Emancipator, and bane of Arasaka's PR department, one Reverend Culver. Praise be to thee, our Father in Heaven. And our second guest is Karina Lee, host of the Chip In program, which promotes the use of cybernetic implants. How's life treating you, beautiful? Can't complain, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. Now, I'd like us to talk about the most exclusive and highly sought-after implant on the market today, Arasaka Corpse Relic. But maybe we ought to make sure our fair audience is up to speed. Karina, what is Relic exactly? In a word, if you could. In one word? I'd say immortality. Immortality? Really? That's right. Relic allows you to transfer the consciousness from a dying person, finding a new home for their soul on a transferable chip. This person, they'll never leave your side, a companion forever with you in your own consciousness. Just imagine if... Child, child, think for a moment about what you're saying. This relic is an abomination that feeds on human misery. It is an unnatural likeness. A golden calf born by false prophets. What's more, this technology is just another tool of coercion and corruption. Only the wealthy and powerful elite will have access. And they will pay any price in exchange for a chance at this so-called immortality. Arasaka speaks of preserving the soul. But they can promise nothing more than a heartless, mindless algorithm speaking with the voice of the departed. Well, that is true that Arasaka Corp has specifically limited access to the relic in order to... Your promise is a lie! An evil lie, motivated by greed and lust for power that... <laughs> now that is rich! Hey, excuse me? False promises, greed, a lust for power. Why, it sounds an awful lot like a church to me. What? How dare you? Do you not promise a life after death? Do you not charge funeral fees to a family in mourning? Maybe the Reverend is just afraid of some healthy competition, huh? Competition? You believe everything in this world can be counted, measured, rationalized. And wouldn't we be right? We can construct artificial brains, create new consciousness. But I ask you why? What does that give us? Are we as a people on this earth any happier for it? You claim that this relic gives eternal life. But all I see is an eternity of suffering. Rather than say goodbye, we haunt ourselves with their voices, their presence. But what do you folks think? Who holds the truth? Hearts, is it Ms. Lee or maybe that. Reverend Culver? That is up to you. Send Culver or Lee to 7892 to cast your vote and enter your name for a chance to win tickets to this year's playoffs. Until next time, Night City. Ziggy, Toodles. Ziggy, Ziggy.